hello everyone and welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great sorry it's been a very long time i have uploaded a video i was uh, very much busy in one of the project and uh, the project is about to complete now i hope i'll get time to upload uh, regular videos on my channel so please keep uh, supporting and keep watching my videos hope you will enjoy all my videos so if you have any concern or questions please comment in the section below i'll try to answer them as soon as possible so as you know that in this so in this video i'm going to show you how to create through curve mesh in nx23 uh, surface modeling so the through curve mesh command is very important command when it comes to surface modeling so now so this is the latest version of uh, nx23 so all my future videos will be on this uh, version so everybody is commenting uh, in all my videos recent videos for uh, you know to know which version of uh, nx is this this is nx 2306 if you want me to show it is a file and if you go to help and about nx and you can see here nx 2306 okay so there are other versions also after 2306 uh, maybe 2312 uh, there there will not be a lot of changes here so i have not uh, you know upgraded to nx 23 well okay so let's start with uh, today's video that is through curve mesh in surface modeling so there are different uh, situation where you can use this uh, through curve mesh command and i'm going to sh discuss with you about uh, three different situation the first one is using a primary curves and cross curves and the second one is using a surface edges and the third one is using a point okay so for all these uh, you know three methods i have created a different part files you can see here using primary curves and surface edges and then using the points so all these three part files you know link will be given in the description so you can just download and check how how i have created these files okay so once these three different types are you know discussed i'm going to tell you how to use a continuity in a through mesh command okay so let's start with the first one you can see here the primary curves and cross curve so i have made a simple video here this is a, just a circle and this is you know a half a rectangle with us with some fillets on the edges and if you see from the top side they are connected one with a straight line and the other with a curve line okay so you can say arc okay so now what you can do is i'll just go to surface command and through curve mesh okay once i go to through curve mesh you can see there are uh, multiple options here primary curves and cross curves so i um, you can choose any any anyone as a primary curves and anyone as a cross curve there is there is no restriction on selections okay so before going to start a through curve mesh i'm going to tell you uh, whatever the through curve mesh whatever the curves that you have created for a through curve mesh it should be connected you can see here whatever the curves that is created it should be connected so you can just check how i have created these models and if you have any doubts please comment in the section below so now the first one is primary curves and cross curve so what i'm going to do is i'll just go to through curves uh, through curve mesh and now you can see uh, there are two options primary curves and cross curve so this continuity we are going to discuss in the next session okay there is no restriction that you need to select um, um, only uh, which are here as a you know primary curves you can select these as a curve cross curves and this one as a primary curve so now what i'm going to do is primary curves so i'm going to select this primary curve so this is my first primary curve and i'm going to hit the middle button of the mouse and i'm going to select this so you need to select the entire curve so either you can select like this or you can change it to tangent curves okay so now i have selected a two primary curves so this is the one and this is the second one so now i want to shift to cross curve so either you can go to directly select the cross curve or you can click the middle button of your mouse twice okay so once i click two times it will be shifted to cross curves so i'm going to select this as my first cross curve and this as my second cross curve so always when you are creating through curves or through curve mesh and swept in um, an x application always you need to make sure your direction should be same so you can see here our primary curve starts from here and the second primary curve starts from here okay so the direction is always same so okay so and as well as uh, if you go to cross curves you can see it is starting from here and it is starting from here so now 
both are starting at a same points and you can able to create a sheet so this is how you can able to create a true curve mesh so now let's go to second method that is by using a surface edges so now you can see here already there are two different surfaces and we are going to use these edges so for example there are two edges of these surfaces so these edges i'm going to use it for primary curve so that is what the second method so if we go to through curves mesh again and primary curves i'm going to select this as my primary curves and hit the middle button and select this one so this is going to be my second primary curve this is going to be my first primary curve and now i'll just click two times middle button and now we are going to cross curves i'm going to select this once middle button and this so now you can see here through curve mesh has been developed and you can just click okay so this is the second method where we are using surface edges you can see here these surface edges are used in order to create a through curve mesh not only from primary curves even though if you have you know um, edges for cross curves so you can just use those cross curves and you can try to build a through curve mesh okay so the next method is using points so now in this one you can see here one arc is created and one point is created so using this point we are going to create a surface okay so this point is connected by using this curve line so if i go to top view you can see this is a completely curve and one is straight line and another one is if you see by side so it is a combination of line and arc okay so these are the three curves uh, cross curves that is used in order to connect to this point so using this uh, we are going to create a through curve mesh so now let me go to through curve mesh okay and i'm going to select first primary curve as this okay and the middle button so now i'm going to select a second primary curve as a point okay so this point is going to be my second primary curve or primary point okay so now let me go to cross curves so cross curve as i said uh, you know always you need to select a same direction so i'm going to select this and hit the middle button and let me select this and this okay so you can see our uh, surface is being developed and now click on a middle button and again select this so you can see here this is how the surface is being developed so on the other side we have a semi arc and the one another side we have just a point so using this point and uh, three different uh, cross curves we are able to create a through curve mesh it's not restricted only you need to select a uh, you know three cross curves you can create n number of n number of cross curves and you can just create a through curve mesh okay i'll just click okay here and our surface is being developed so these are the three different situations where you can able to create a through curve mesh so as i said you already primary curves and cross curve it is not restricted you need to select this curve as a primary curve and this uh, curves as a secondary or cross curves okay so you can always switch them and you can always try to build a surface okay so now let's discuss about the continuity so how how it matters when it comes to continuity and what is the advantages of using the continuity so i'll just take this as an example and i'll just double click on it okay so always when you are creating a through curve mesh uh, primary you know you can see here continuity will be always g0 g0 is nothing but a position or a point okay so always these surfaces you can see here they are you know connected with a sharp edges so if you check it in the in this way you can see here they are already mating to each other with a single point okay so now if you want to make them you know tangent to these surfaces so now you need to change a, your continuity so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to g0 to g1 so there are three different ways g0 and then g1 and g2 so position is what it you can able to see here tangent is nothing but that it, there will be a tangency that will be maintained between the two surfaces and curvature is nothing but it is also a tangency maintained between the two surfaces but it will have a same radius of curvature okay so we are not going to discuss on curvature we are going to discuss on only tangent so now i'll just hit tangent and since our uh, you know first curve will be this so i'm going to give this as a face 
okay and now last primary curve so i'll just select a tangent and my last primary phase will be this okay so i'm going to ignore this and if you check now on the side view you can see there is a tangent surface build okay this is also tangent to this surface so this is my first primary curve so it is tangent and last primary curve this is also tangent so this way uh, if you have multiple you know um, primary curves in between maybe around five to six so you don't need to give you know faces continuity for all the primary curves only you need to give first and last so similarly like this if you want to provide uh, surfaces continuity surfaces for a first and second last curves you can just able to provide it here since i don't have any adjacent surfaces to give continuity for this one i'm just creating like this okay so this is how we can you know uh, create a through curve mesh and as well as continuity so so i'm going to use a different kind of uh, situations uh, how we can use these uh, commands in a surface modeling uh, practice model so if you already checked my videos so maybe i have used a lot of time this so uh, through curve mesh in a future practice models as well i'm going to use this command and uh, i'll just show you how in different uh, situation how we can use a different uh, type of uh, through curve mesh hope you enjoy the video please uh, keep watching my videos and uh, supporting to my channel and keep learning thank you guys